Now, before we continue, what I want you to do is, on a sheet of paper, because I don't want you lying to yourself, write down what do you think the right thing to do in this situation is. You're the trolley driver. You could go straight, continue going straight, maybe keep on pumping the brakes, but you know it's not going to stop, but you still try. Or you can turn. If you go straight, you know five people are going to die. If you turn, one person is going to die. So what is the right thing for you as the driver of the trolley in that situation to do? Okay, but let's go on and take a look. I bring you to Harvard because I want you to see what a class at Harvard looks like. Most of you were uh, students of mine at Kingsborough. Uh, you, you see that um, at Harvard they seem to have a pretty large class, probably about seven or 800 people in this class. Uh, usually in our classes, well, in our class, we have 25. Uh, on an online class, writing intensive has 25. We have 40. Um, in fact, I've had some uh, students ask me, how do they grade things? How do they take attendance? And they manage to do it. Uh, they they manage to do both of those things. Um, but the important thing is let's get back to the material because we're dealing with this moral problem. So let's move on and see what where Professor Sandel is going with this. Let's take a poll. How many would turn the trolley car onto the side track? Raise your hands. How many wouldn't? How many would go straight ahead? Keep your hands up, those of you who would go straight ahead. OK, let me ask you. You noticed the majority of people would turn here at Harvard. We're thinking, well, what would the majority of people do here at Kingsborough? And we're going to find out about that because I'm going to ask you on a discussion forum to actually answer that question. But I also want you to think about the next question that Professor Sandel is going to ask the Harvard students. And I want to get your opinions on it. But notice the majority at Harvard said the right thing to do was to turn. The minority, I'd say it's probably 90-10, maybe even a little bit more than 80-20, certainly. 80% uh, of the people were turning. Only 20% of the people weren't. And ask yourself, do you think, it, do you, do you think it would be different at Kingsborough? Would you get, if we were in class, would you get a different number of students? And I'll tell you, that's the breakdown that we usually get. But now is the important thing. If you already, you've already taken a, a side on the on this. In general, don't try to change it for the discussion forum. But what I want you to do now is think about the following. A handful of people would. The vast majority would turn. Let's hear first, now we need to begin to investigate the reasons why you think it's the right thing to do. Let so as Professor Sandel said, we need to examine the reasons that people have for believing this. And before we see what the people at Harvard have to say, you've already made a decision about what the right thing to do in this case is. I want you to go over here to assessment number five, click on it and create a posting in which you, you're gonna create at least one, th one of two threads, either one, the right, you're going to say the title is going to be turn the trolley, saying the right thing to do is to turn the trolley. And inside that thread, inside that posting, you're going to try to kind of fill in the statement, turning the trolley is the right thing to do because, and you want to explain why that's the right thing to do. What about that makes it the right thing to do? Or if you think that you should not turn the trolley, I want you to explain the same, the same thing in that case. Why is the right thing to do not to turn the trolley? And what makes that thing the right thing to do? So click in there. Write down your answer to the question. Be thoughtful about it. Think about it a little bit. And then we'll come back and go on. 